Good morning, folks. It's that time once again. All right, guys, I got to get about my day, so I have to do a very early video here. And um, I want to talk a little bit about tonight's game because uh, <laughs> we, we got to get back on the winning track. We just do. And, you know, we can't start losing games that we should win. And um, I'm thinking uh, today we're most likely, uh, uh, you know what, I, I know that probably won't go with UPL, but I would. I would stick with them. I would stick with him, guys. If we're going to suffer, we want to get answers while we're suffering too. You know what I mean? We want to get answers while we're suffering. I would go with UPL even though he let in six goals last game. As crazy as that sounds, I would. I would stick, stick with him. Give him every opportunity to succeed or fail. And uh, at least then, guys, we have some answers. And we, we, you know, we already know that goaltending is a real issue with our team. We already know this. Outside of Anderson, we're pretty much in trouble right now, it feels like, right? And how long can we depend on a 41-year-old goalie, guys? You know, it's not realistic. So we got to address that issue this year at some point, whether it be getting Devin Levi signed at the end of the year to an entry-level deal or not. We've got to get that uh, done. I want to just look at a few things here, guys, before uh, I get into this video. It's not going to be a very long one. I got to get about my day. Guys, I got to paint a four and a half in one day. So this is going to be a busy day for me. I don't even know if I'm going to get to see this game. I got to paint a four and a half. Thank God I don't got to do the ceilings, but I got to do it in one day. So I got to get about my day soon. Okay. Uh, I wanted to talk about, I'm not going to show any clips here. Detroit, going into this game, <coughs> excuse me guys. Going into this game, Detroit's 11, 6, and 4. My goodness, I really, um, you know, I, I flipped it wrong with Detroit and Ottawa. I really thought Ottawa would be like this and Detroit would be more like Ottawa this year. I really did. Um, they're 7-3-2 at home, okay? They're 5-3-2 their last 10 games. They're hot. They're playing good. They've had, some, they've had a rough schedule too. It's not like they're not playing good. They're playing good. And the Sabres right now are 2-7-1 their last 10. We're 4-5 and five on the road though. I think it'll do us some good to get on the road. I really do. I hope, guys, we go with uh, UPL and Nets, even though, I mean, the better odds of winning would be Anderson and Nets. It would be. So, yeah, I'm just looking at the standings. The Bruins are 19-3. and three. Guys, I picked them fifth in the division this year. <laughs> so don't listen to me. Oh, my goodness. 13-0-0 at home. You know? Now, could I see the Bruins lose in the first round this year? Absolutely, I could, because of age. Not because they're not good and don't have heart and don't have a winning culture. Age, the only reason, no other reason. I think by the end of the year, their legs will wear down a bit. And uh, this, this, this could be their last hurrah of a big, big season with that bunch because I don't think, I think Bergeron is probably gonna retire at the end of the year. Uh, you know, they're gonna be losing basically these guys stayed good right till they retired is the crazy thing. Like him, Marchand, these guys, my goodness, you know. It, it goes to show guys when you have great leaders on your team what it can do, you know. So if we, uh, if we can come out of this, guys, with um, sir, uh, standing at, at the 60-minute mark, I'll be happy. I, you know, because you know what I'm thinking is Detroit is going to want some revenge for that bouncing we give them in the 8-3 game. They're gonna really want that. They're gonna want to come at us. It was 8-3, right? That's what I remember, 8-3. They're gonna want to come at us hard. They're gonna want revenge. <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna play, I'm pretty sure, uh, a really good game. So it's gonna be tough to beat them tonight. I think this will be tougher than, than, than uh, the Tampa game. I think this is gonna be a tougher game. I just do. You know, this is why I would put uh, Bobrovsky. I would put uh, UPL and Nets, guys. Put him in. Put him in. If he's not capable of robbing a game for us, you know, we need we need goaltending too. If, if if we can't if we can only count on him when we're only letting in twenty shots a game, move him, move him. This is the year where I say move him. If he doesn't start producing this year, we got to move him. 
people are saying, no, no, we can't move uh, UPL. Why not? What's he doing for us, you know, so far? He looked good in his first outing. He looked bad in his last one. So if we're going to have a Jekyll and Hyde goalie, no, move him. The goaltending, there's no room for Jekyll and Hyde. There's just not. You're either a consistent goaltender in the NHL or you're not. So I'm hoping, the guys, that we just get it done. We'll see. I'll try to be on for the post game. Okay. I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm not too sure when I'll finish. It's going to be a long day for me. So I will try though to do a post game. I'll try and get home to at least see the second half of the game, but I'm going to have to move quick, and it's going to be ha ha going to have to be one hell of a good coat that I put on the wall because I'm guessing after the first coat I'm going to have to do another one. But uh, second coat's always fast. So. All right, guys. I am just blabbing. I'm going to leave it there. I will see you guys um, most likely in the post game. And um, I will be catching up everything on this channel by uh, the weekend. Uh, by the weekend, I might take a day off just to catch up the notes. We'll see. Okay, I want to throw one more video your way if I got time this morning. See you tonight, guys.